Hi, and welcome back to the channel. We are finishing up The Falcon and the Winter Soldier today. This is the final episode titled One World, One People. And yeah, we've heard that before from the Flag Smashers, who we also saw at the end of the last episode, setting their plans in motion. And now it seems like it's only Sam and Bucky who's going to be able to stop them. They also got a little bit of help from... Sharon Carter, who yeah, got a hold of like uh, yeah. Batroc, uh, who's, yeah, like we saw it the, in the first episode, and he kind of has a vendetta against Falcon. So that's going to be, uh, that's going to be an issue, at least. Yeah. Um, I'm looking forward to see how they're going to round this up uh, mm. in, in the final episode. And I read something about maybe there'll be another season, so it might be season ending this one, or as uh, originally planned, a uh, miniseries. So this is the final episode. So who knows? Yeah. Uh, they got a lot of things to wrap up in, in about 50 minutes or so. So I'm looking forward to being entertained again. Mm -hmm. Touching on heavy issues along the way, I think it's very good writing. Um, oh, very I, good, yeah. I enjoy watching this very much. And, and it leaves me thinking a little bit about how to be a better person at the end as well. So I, I like that angle to it. Yeah, yeah. When there are those, you know moral lessons there and and as you're saying touching on some important subjects uh some very good conversations between the characters sam and bucky and also sam and isaiah and very very well crafted so far and and really good writing so let's see if they can um if they can end it in style um yeah. they definitely left us wanting um or left us very curious about what was in that freaking box at the, I, at the end i want to see what's one. in the box it might yeah. be as someone wrote in the comments might be a captain america suit might be new wings Let's or both see, or both Let's <laughs> see where, where that goes and yeah, yeah also yeah. i want to take uh, the opportunity to thank you for all the comments you're being very nice in the comments uh, mm -hmm. uh and having some uh, good discussions about how to interpret the different things in the in the episode that's mm. very nice of you and also thank you someone uh, promoted me to colonel but i am but a major uh, <laughs> and uh, i'm a dad so hence the nickname major dad and um, i might look a bit worn uh, but i had a contract with the government saying that uh, i'll stay active until I'm worn out, and apparently I'm not worn out just yet. <laughs> so still active uh, duty. Yeah, yeah. And as you alluded to, uh, thank you so much to everyone who's uh, been following our little journey here and for all the comments along the way. Some great discussions being had there, and I think it's a testament to the writing in particular that you all and, and we can argue back and forth between, you know, the, the characters and their motivations and... No, they did a th but straight up bad thing, or no, they just they, it's understandable why they did that, or you know, going into these tough moral subjects and decisions that they have to make on the series. It, and, it's good as showing that the the world is not black and white. It, yes, it's gray. It makes us think about how we can be a better person uh, in this gray world, and and I think that that's very good writing. I I enjoy it very much. Yeah, same here, same here. So let's just see what they're gonna come up with here in the last episode uh, very excited about how they're going to end it um, gonna see what's in that box and then oh, yeah. what's gonna happen to the flag smashes are they gonna reveal who the power broker really is in this episode or is that gonna be something that's gonna carry over into something new be it a new season or a movie whatever we're gonna get down the line yeah but before we start i just want to say as usual that you can always check out our full length reactions where you can sync up the footage with your own copy of the episode we also have early reactions for some of the shows that we're doing it's all over on patreon and the link is down in the description below yes <laughs> and let's go john f walker you are hereby stripped of your title and authority as Captain America, effective immediately. Oh, yeah. And Walker is making a new shield. Yeah. His storyline is interesting as well. Yeah. And it's far from over. Yeah. The movement is ready. They're not going to stop. Not unless we make them. So their plan is just to take that whole council, like, hostage and... Know. 
Oh, okay. He's got wings. Yep. Excuse me, sir. Are you supposed to be here? It's me. Oh. What the? Okay. Very curious about what her role is going to be yeah. now. He's here. Do it now. So they were specifically waiting for Sam. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, look at that. Uh, that's a suit. Captain America. <laughs> I'm sorry, wait. Who are you? Captain America. I thought Captain America was on the moon. <laughs> no one's moving toward the building. You cost me a lot of money. Oh. Rematch. Barnes. It's Carly. Well, they are being nice hostages and doing just as they're told, more or less. Well, well yeah, they don't know they're hostages nope. yet. <laughs> don't do this. Don't go down this path. That's how you feel. You should sit this one out. Well, you know I ain't gonna do that. Well, thank you. I'm glad you took my call. You've been a big help. Yeah. yeah. Keeping him busy, keeping him talking. I'm sorry. She put a tracker on him? Most likely, yeah. Nope. Whoa. She just straight up killed him. Mercury vapor. Look rather unhealthy. Mm hmm. Oh. <laughs> ah, nice. Somewhere else to be. Kind of back to episode one. Yeah. The helicopter. <laughs> oh, and he's got the Red new wing. Red Wing. Worst case scenario, we kill the hostages. Um. We're supposed to use them to negotiate, to stop that vote. One world. One world. One people. One people. One people. They're not entirely on her side, it uh, seems. I'm hesitating a bit on that. Mm, yeah. Which I get, because she's being a bit too extreme about all this. Oh, fuck. Yeah, you're going to have to save them. Oh. Okay, that must be vibranium. <laughs> oh. Well, that's a way to do it. <laughs> we need a diversion. Give him someone to rescue. What do you mean? Light it up. Give him someone to rescue. <laughs> Damn, that's cold. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to kill your friend. I don't want to hurt people that don't matter. You don't think Lamar's life matters? That was a wrong way of saying that. <laughs> well, that's a felony right there. <laughs> Taking out a parking meter. <laughs> I think when it comes to felonies, that's the least of their problems. Yeah. Oh shit, Bucky! Cool. Yeah. 
He's not being distracted by someone. Terrific. No, no. I was just about to say, he's not focusing on saving people. He just wants to take her out. What is she doing? What? Damn, Kali. She went with her second option? Yeah. Just take out the hostages. Come on, John. You know what to do here. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. That's what Cat would have done. Ah, oh, damn. Don't move. Yeah. <laughs> Stay still. However, it is probably a bit on the heavy side. Yeah, he, he doesn't have the, the super soldier serum. But he's got tech. As the Black Falcon there, I tell you. <laughs> yeah. That's Captain America. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> you and what people bought into that bullshit? I'm trying something different. Maybe you should do the same. Now, what's oh, this? Yeah. Oh, he's not done yet. <laughs> Definitely not. But all right, they got John helping them now, at least for right now. So he still wants to do the right thing. He's that's true, yeah. Just got a bit of anger issues. <laughs> still, but I don't know how good of an idea it is to stay in contact with Sharon and tell her where you're going because I don't really trust her anymore. <laughs> no. Who's whistling? And why? I think it's like the call sign of the flag smashes. David, is that you? Yeah. Nope. Drag your weapon, Carly. Now we're gonna get the power broker reveal. Without our super soldiers, how much power does the power broker really have? Oh, there it is. Yeah. More than you. Okay. Well, he's about to die. Oh shit. Well that took a turn. Mm-hmm. Oh, nice. Mercy bears richer fruit than strict justice. It's a great app. Finally, someone took advantage of the app they were using. <laughs> Really? Great man. Great quote. Not when you say it. <laughs> oh, fuck. Well, she was probably going to shoot. Yeah, Sharon did just save Falcon's life. Sam's life, Captain America. And this was probably how it was always going to end. She did go too far, but I am sure Sam did not want her to die. No. But he's not aware that she's the power broker. No, Sharon? Yeah. I, I don't think so, no. <laughs> Captain Falcon. Stop calling them terrorists. Your peacekeeping troops carrying weapons are forcing millions of people into settlements around the world, right? What do you think those people are going to call you? Good point. Mm -hmm. Terrorists, refugees, thugs. Now, if you could remember what it was like to be helpless and face a force so powerful it could erase half the planet, you would know that you're about to have the exact same impact. No super serum. No blonde hair or blue eyes. The only power I have is that I believe we can do better. I mean, this girl died trying to stop you. And no one has stopped for one second to ask why. 
A few people have just as much power as an insane god or a misguided teenager. The question you have to ask yourself is, how are you going to use it? Well, that was a heavy speech. Yeah, but a, a really good one. And yeah. damn, I really, really like the way Sam is thinking and going about things in Tell this us. series. Mm. Very Cap like. Yeah. <laughs> nice job, Cap. Thanks. Confirming that prisoners have cleared final process. We are transporting them to the raft. And they're going to the raft as well. If if they're even gonna get there. Oh. I didn't see that coming. What was that? Was that Simo's guy? From the plane? Yeah, I think so. He just smiled. Oh, couldn't have worked better if I planned it myself. Hmm. Oh, well, maybe I did. No, I'm kidding. I didn't. Or did I? <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. Block her! My God! Let's go! He's going to be wearing a new suit as well. Yeah. Things are about to get weird. So when they do, we're not going to need a Captain America. We're going to need a U.S. agent. There it is. Yep. U.S. agent. And is that Madame Hydra yet? Or to become Madame Hydra? Yeah. Couldn't quite figure that out. What is her role in all of this? And she just said things are about to get weird. Yeah. Referring to anything specific. Weirder would be more precise. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's going to go and yeah. provide some closure for a grieving father. Hey, what are you doing here? Couldn't have been easy for well, either of those two. I like that they kind of wrapped that end up as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Something for Dr. Reyna. The book with all crossed out yeah. names. You did good, Bucky. Yeah. I like the way it just backs out of focus. Mm. I heard the GRC was standing down on those plans of theirs. So you must have done something right. Wow. He did talk some sense into them. It seems. Yeah. We built this country. Bled for it. I'm not going to let anybody tell me I can't fight for it. Not after what everybody before me went through. Including you. Shit. <laughs> Shit. I almost bought that. <laughs> hey, why don't you clean up? There's um, something I want to show you. Hmm. That's a section about Isaiah. There is. Now they'll never forget what you did for this country. Never. That was a beautiful gesture. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Captain America and the Winter Soldier. Yes! That was a nice ending. It really was. Yeah. And Good was way like, of rounding off that, yeah. that whole storyline and, and just the series overall. Um, sad, of course, some of the outcomes, but still a very hopeful ending. Yeah. I, I, I like that. Um, and and I, I thought for a minute that they were going to end it in that uh, museum with uh, the Isaiah reveal and yeah. how he had his so own nice section to, now. Um, to, and I wouldn't have been mad about that, but but all, but ending it with Sam and Bucky and just a little celebration music there. And they are uh, with the boat and, and... Yeah, yeah. Having a good time with, with everybody there. And, yeah, all yeah, that, yeah. Sam's family and, and uh, his nephews just... Um, Hanging there on, yeah, <laughs> on, some, on Buggy's some fun arm. stuff as well. So yeah. yeah, I used to do that when I was a kid. Just yeah, on, on you. Although I you, don't have a metal arm. You don't have a metal arm, no. but you were still able to no. lift me that way for a number of years at yeah. least until I, I got older and heavier. <laughs> yeah, 
probably wouldn't last that long now, but yeah. yeah. But that was a nice ending, and that looks more like a miniseries ending, even though they... Yeah, they, they could wrap it up here and yeah. say, that was it, that was the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, or Captain America and the Winter Soldier, as they called it, in the end, uh, and then... Some of it is surely going to carry over. Um, we had John Walker becoming U.S. agent. Yeah. He's working for Val um, or Madame Hydra or whatever her role really is now uh, at this moment in time. And well, it seems like he's going to maybe do some good again uh, or going to be able to do some stuff even though... He's going to be a U.S. agent, which means he's she's from some kind of agency or whatever. She might be hidden in there as Hydra or Hydra taking over slowly. I don't know. Oh, oh, oh. Intelligence community. I'd like to offer you and your family our sincere Okay, and she is getting her pardon. The Carter name has always been synonymous with service and trust. Welcome home, Agent Carter. Agent Carter. Oh, they wrapped that part up as well. Yeah. But something's off. Yeah. We're about to have full access to government secrets, prototype weapons. Damn. Name it. Should be something for everyone. Still the power broker. Yep. She's taking advantage of that pardon. Yep. Well, that could be something that you could build on for something in the future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another series or whatever her role is going oh, to be yeah. going forward um, as now power broker and yeah, yeah, Some, going undercover I mean, as, as, as the new agent Carter. She seemed like such a nice person and she is mm -hmm. a Carter, so I was expecting more from her. Yeah. Uh, and not becoming a villain, but well... Those uh, those years, and, and if you've been wronged a number of times, that'll change you as a person, and you might become more jaded and go against things that you usually wouldn't do uh, or you wouldn't do back in the day. Um, that can happen to a lot of people. They can get corrupted in some way, and it seems like that's, it, that's what happened to Sharon then. happened to a lot of people. I mean, mm. you get a taste for something and then just roll with it. Mm. And... I like the whole setup of uh, this uh, episode and just be a better person, just do better. And, and also mm. whole, the whole uh, speech by Captain America. Uh, yeah, by so, Sam in the yeah. end, yeah. That, yeah. that was a really good speech. That was very good, yeah. Do We need to do better as a people. We asked, like, it still has the same message with one world, one people. We have something... We have a common cause, something yeah. we can fight together. And I also like what he said about like now you like you know what it means to have gone through the ringer pretty much. Like this crazy yeah. god, this alien that came and wiped out fifty yeah. percent of the people and you need to have people beside you beside you and you also need to in some way understand yourself what it is people out there in the world are going through. Why are they they're fighting on, yeah. for, for, for these causes. Um, why is, why is, why, how can there be someone like Carly? Like you, well, you need to, yeah, to well, understand that. Ask the question why. I think that's mm. very uh, important to ask the question why. And uh, at the same time, we are once again crawling into the gray area. Yes. When are you an insurgent or a terrorist or a freedom fighter? Or it, a thug or, or, yeah. Yeah, a thug or whatever. It depends on who wins, more or less. It's the winner who writes the history. So, Yes. And it's still out there. It's still in this world as well. So I think the way that they put it out there mm. is uh, what we're supposed to do. We actually know what we're supposed to do, most of us, to be a decent person. But at the same time, at what cost for other people? Yes. And, so, and that, that's the whole deal about it. Yeah. And, and what you're saying with going into a very gray area here where it's, it's definitely not black and white. No. And you've also said this before that no one wakes up in the morning and go like, I'm going to be a villain today and I'm no. just going to do evil shit and kill people. Who can I fuck with? Today? Yeah. No, like don't, people don't usually like have that. some side, some sort of cause, like a reason why they're doing things. They want to make the world yeah. a better place for themselves or people they love in some way, shape or form. And that's going to go against the wishes of other people. And that's what we need to understand, or, yeah. you know, and, and as, as world leaders in particular need to understand and look at, 
things from different perspectives and then it is a good idea to have people around you who can present those different perspectives yeah. as well and who, who has a different view on the world um, yeah you, you so, need to yeah. balance it off more mm. or less and um, I, have to, I have to put this one out there sometimes i wake up grumpy mm. other mornings i let her sleep <laughs> no, uh, you can wake up grumpy but you never wake up saying let's see what i can fuck with today but you could just be a grumpy person or whatever yeah 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 and it helps to meet people who are happy who really want to help so surround yourself with happy people who want to help other people and that will make you be a better person uh, mm. there's also this uh this saying about find a uh boyfriend girlfriend whatever who wants uh or who makes you want to be a better person uh, yeah it's, or, it's a sounds like a chick flick but it, it's a good the, thing it, yeah yeah it's it's a very real thing and find someone who can challenge your views on some of the things like i've done with with, with cat uh definitely like she has challenged me in a lot of cases and with a lot of stuff and um i think has made me a, a better person um so yeah as you're saying surround yourself with people who can challenge you and make you a better person and um make it so that you can see things from other perspectives and then also bring bring posit- positivity is yep. as you, like happy people are always great and, and, and again in the gray area stuff you have to choose the right time to say things and mm. other times well keep your mouth and put it in another time or ho- hold your uh, hold your tongue and, mm. and say something at another time mm. i admit i have days where i'm very open to suggestions of all kind and other days not so much <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah so That's pick the, your the... time and place uh but always try to do better yeah yeah exactly and Obviously. i think that's also something that's up to date uh, with the whole environmental thing that we really want to leave the world a better place for our kids mm. i do believe we all want to do that yeah uh, but sometimes reality happens and something steps in and you just shouldn't stop trying and one no, no. setback does not mean you have to give up you just keep on going not so, at all yeah just keep trying keep trying to be a better person and uh, us as a whole as a yeah. species we should just keep on trying to be better better people and that that was the, the message of of Sam there and what he said uh, to those people and and overall you know just what he's been doing throughout this entire series and and why i think that the writing in particular with his, with his character is so damn strong yeah. and it really makes you go yes that is the exact person that should be the new captain america because he can embody, embody those values that that steve did and always fighting for the little guy and always trying to stand up for what's right um Yeah and I I think this whole series uh sort of was much better than I expected. I expected mm. some uh, Marvel universe uh, fighting. I was looking forward to the banter between the Falcon and the Winter Soldier and mm. all the fun stuff that comes in there as well, but the uh, writing was much steeper than that and mm-hmm. I think the acting was uh, very good. Uh Oh yeah. The whole uh John Walker thing where Wyatt Russell sort of portrayed John that. Walker or Captain America with all the anger issues and all that mm. he did very well. I mean, mm-hmm. uh, well enough for people to really go, I don't like the guy. Well, remember, please, it's acting, and <laughs> if <laughs> acting's so good that you feel it, it's good acting. Yes, it's so, a fictional so, yeah, character. Yeah. Don't don't. So I I enjoyed this very much, and what's much deeper than I expected. Uh, mm. This whole series, I was just getting entertained and and. And, and made then, me think at the same time. That's good. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It had all the things that you mentioned, like great action and humor, and all the things that we're used to with the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And not to say that some of the the movies that has come before, or even WandaVision or anything like that, that it it doesn't get into some deeper issues and it doesn't have good writing. Um, but uh, some of the time, it's just more or less in in the realm of pure entertainment um and it can still be moving yeah. and all of that um but but yeah this one just had some some great writing and and it delved into to some very w- real world issues that maybe we didn't expect yeah. as much and i think that's also what people have responded to very much um overall when watching this series is yes it's very well made it it feels like just a long movie yeah 
but it also has these very important like character development moments and it really goes into the motives of the characters and into the gray and into these real world issues and just stack that on top of what we usually get for marvel and, and i think it's a it's a definite success it's, and it's it, very well written uh, yeah and, and uh, as i said better than i expected and mm. also uh, sebastian stan uh, portraying the winter soldier or bucky and uh, that's very well but very good uh, yeah very good acting and at some point, just to switch topic a bit, at mm. some point I could see him as he him as a uh, as a Jedi. Oh, if you know yeah. what I mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah, if if they're ever gonna do the uh, let's use Luke Skywalker a bit more in the series, should yeah. we actually hire an actor to do that and not do the CGI thing, um, yeah. not do the de aging thing? Then um, yeah. People have been throwing around Sebastian Stan as a potential Luke Skywalker for a long while. And yeah, I, I, I wouldn't mind that. I think he's a great actor. And as you said, like really showed in this one or in this series um, that like what he can do and in the role as Bucky. And, and we got more from him here than we've gotten before. Yeah. Um, I still think, yeah, he's still really, really good in in the Winter Soldier and Civil War and even Infinity War, uh, even though he didn't have like a really big part in that one. He still did a great job, but here we really got to know him more and deeper and seeing him towards the end, like really accept who he is as a person. The talk he had with Sam in the last episode about making amends and not avenging and how yeah. he should go about it. Um, bring some closure to to the people that he's, he's wronged. Uh, be of service. Uh, and we saw a bit of that in this one. And even though they probably didn't remain friends afterwards he still did something good for him he was of service um yeah. and it wasn't just to make himself feel better necessarily it was for, for he did it. the right thing he did so, the right yeah. thing he yeah. really did um so yeah and, and that was great to see and then the camaraderie between him and sam how that you know it started with them bickering like an old married yeah. couple and while that can be a lot of fun and, and we we got that before in the movies it's still where they ended up in this one. That's a, a real good yeah. relationship there. Uh, and but, I think they're going to be great But you saw the journey and, and the, the journey of getting to know each other better mm. in, in this uh, yeah. uh, series here. So, and so, understanding each other. I think yeah. that, that was the key there. The, the, the whole thing. setup where they sat in front of each other and just closed in on each other, sitting on chairs. Uh, yeah, just the, had the stare yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, the, that was good. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah, that was um, a, a, a lot of fun. Um, and, and to see uh, just the way that Simo kind of got the last laugh in this one as well. Um, I feel like I like Simo as a character. He's very interesting and I like him even more after this series. And I'm sure they're going to use him again. Um, but he's he's still not really a good guy, even though he helped out the good guys. Um, he did end up just... But doing what he always said he was going to do, he wanted to get rid of super soldiers and he found yeah. some way to get rid of the super soldiers that was left from the Flag Smashers. Yeah. I, I, I didn't want those guys to die. I thought going to the raft, that, that was a good way of just rounding that off. Yeah, they seemed kind of okay when, when Kali sort of took a wrong turn. They weren't quite on board with that. Yeah, so. they, they still did what she said. Uh, and, and I was hoping for one of them to go, no stop that's yeah. it we're not killing innocent people or we're not just straight up murdering people now to to get our way there must be some other way that we can go about this because the the cause is there and it's it's it, it feels righteous but the way we're going about things is just wrong carly like i i wish one of them would have done that i don't remember his his name but the the long-haired dude who, yeah. uh, who was there with her all the way i'm sad to see someone like him go because it seemed like he had a conscience and he knew yeah what they were doing wasn't really the right thing to do. But, but yeah, Simo well, got again, the last we're, we're just interpreting that they were a bit slow on responding to one world, one people. So because of that, they were hesitating. So yeah. Yeah, yeah. and we've seen yeah. him in particular, like it looks like he was he hesitating in like previous scenes, um, but, but yeah. we didn't get that straight up. No, I'm not gonna go along no. with this uh, kind of speech from one of them, um, but yeah, they died. Simo found a way while still being locked up in the raft. Um, 
and then we have uh, we already yeah kind of brought it up, but but John Walker, what sort of role as yeah. the U U.S. agent is he going to have going forward? What does Val know? Is she in contact with Nick Fury? Because they definitely have a some sort of a relationship going yeah. on in the comics, and we know that Nick Fury at the moment is working with the Skrulls, um, those um, green yeah. screen green skinned aliens who can. Um, transform into other humans yeah. or like uh, yeah shapeshifters shapeshifts exactly yeah. um so is is that what she was referring to that like things are going to get weird like we're about to have a secret invasion that's a, a little comic book reference um, yeah. or what what was she referring to if anything specific um that's so I'm, yeah I'm there's sure a lot of that. other stuff to continue from yeah pick this, up but with, i think the Captain or the Falcon and the Winter Soldier or the Captain the Win Captain America and the Winter Soldier was wrapped up pretty nicely here. So it yeah. can either turn into a movie, they can turn up somewhere else, or they could even spin it off to a, a second season or whatever. So they can sure do all they of really that. left the roads open in front of them. So Yeah, they sure did. But, um but but a nice way to wrap this particular story yeah. up and, and then have it end with Captain America and the Winter Soldier. Getting that new suit and the new wings and it was kind of like we were pre predicting or what people they were predicting yeah. that what that's what was in the case and they didn't show us no i what feel cheated about that i wanted to see them <laughs> yeah see what was there. actually yeah. in the case yeah. open it and just have the camera yeah. go like here it is <laughs> but but no they but revealed it in another way yeah. and and I, I i also like that reveal very much because you saw the the suit on him with the wings and the shields um yeah looking very captain america like um and uh, i think that uh, that suits him yeah well we could continue f for about an hour or so of discussing this because <laughs> there's so much good stuff in there but i yeah. enjoyed it as i said and I think it's about time to wrap this one up. Yep, yep, it sure is, it sure is. Um, one last thing, uh, Batroc, he died, right? It seemed like he got shot, and then we yep. just saw him fall over. Um, he got shot. Yeah, he died. Uh, and then, of course, Carly died. Uh, that was a sad end for her character, but it was a, a case of, yeah, she is too far gone, it, it seemed. Um, and, and she was about to shoot sam unfortunately so yeah. sharon did save his life it's just a shame that she had to kill Kali to do that um so but but still but that, an interesting character and an that way she hit that she's the power broker at the same time so yeah doesn't seem like uh, oh, no. neither bucky or sam like none of them they they found out about that oh. um and her role going forward is also going to be a big mystery um and is she just going to be more or less a an antagonist going forward or the, are they going to be able to turn her and like get her back on the right side of things yeah. and she's not just going to take advantage of um of he is great at wrapping up isn't he yeah i'm really good at it yeah. sorry it's just <laughs> all these thoughts and details they just keep on you know popping up yeah. <laughs> in my head but yeah i think that that's going to do it we we're can keep on speculating gonna, and talking um, we're going to discuss it after or outside the video as well but yeah uh, we're definitely going to do that when you get the, all, all the comments uh on all your theories and so on we're probably going to discuss those as well but yeah yeah um, maybe we're going to do a little catch up with sunny at some point yeah. and you're going to come on as a guest and then we can talk some more about it and with you guys and when we have let it all marinate and and then we probably have some more thoughts ourselves too um but yeah let's wrap it up that's going to do it for this reaction and review of the falcon and the winter soldier episode six one world one people thank you guys so much for watching as always and we'll see you as soon as possible bye